Hey everyone, Charlie here with Max Cast Fish and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm meeting up with my buddy Jason on this 20 acre lake and we're gonna see if the fish are on the beds. We're hoping so. Um, I think the water temperature might still be a little bit too cold, but we'll see. Uh, anyways, got the, uh, the bass raider out here. He's on his bass raider, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get out there and meet up with him now. Hopefully, we can bring y'all some action. Is there any protection from that wind up there? Yeah, that's why I'm up here. Oh god, dude, I gotta get out of this wind. It is blowing. <laughs> Good. That's exactly Good. why I'm up here. Yeah. I'm coming to it. Oh my gosh, I'm shivering. <laughs> I mean I'm all, I'm having to be on the trolling motor the whole time. I know, I know. That's why I came up here. Alright. The, <laughs> the water clear up there? Nah, that's what I'm for. I can't really see a whole lot. I'm trying to get up here shallow so I can, but all right. I, I can't see a whole lot right now. All right. Goodness all right. gracious. All right, I'm headed up that way. <laughs> all right. Bye. <laughs> First bass of the day. Oh, there's a fish on a bed. He's a dink. All right. Well, we got rid of the skunk. <laughs> kind of. Fish. Got a good one. Crankbait. And maybe he's not that good. Oh, come on, Charlie. Four pounder. Frank bait. This all right. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
about that. Three and a half, maybe. All right, so today the fishing wasn't so great. The conditions were uh, not very favorable. The winds was blowing like 10 to 15 miles out of the north and the water temperature was still 61 degrees. So we need that to come up a little bit and then hopefully those fish will start moving in, moving up in on the beds. But uh, anyways, we're gonna probably try to revisit that whole situation in that lake maybe uh, next weekend. Uh, but in the meantime, I wanted to give you all an update on the shallow water pole anchor. Um, I have redone it and this is what I've got. So now everything, the pole and everything stays affixed to the boat. And then to deploy it, I just come over here and release this clip. And then let me go ahead and undo that. And now I can just raise this up and it's on a pivot point. And basically what this is, is just a black cutting board that I bought off of Amazon, three quarter inch. And just uh, made it to where it uh, was two pieces and it could swivel. And then to lock it in place, I can just screw this in, screw it all the way down tight. And then once that's in, that's all rock solid. And then now to hold this little piece of PVC pipe that the anchor actually slides in is uh, held with U-bolts. So that's much stronger than those little, uh, much stronger than what I had before these and these tend to flex i mean it would hold but this is way stronger a lot happier with this and so everything else is the same you just lift up on this string to get it to go up and then if you want to lock it off you can lock it off and so when i stow it i uh i bring it all the way up and then lock it and then i can come over here and unscrew it where it clears and now I can rotate just like that and then clip it here and that's how it transports so much happier with this setup um, and then I just tighten that up to make sure that doesn't back out on the road when I'm driving just put a little pressure on that so all right well there you have it there's an update on the shallow water anchor stay tuned for the DIY video on how to actually make that thing Thank y'all for tuning in on this one. If y'all would hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.